Hello. Today let's paint a landscape incorporating one of the trees we painted in the other video. Something very simple like this one. Let's paint the tree to the side. A light blue sky and a lush green meadow. The colors we'll need are lemon yellow, yellow green or sap green mixed with lemon yellow, sap green, sap green mixed with Paints gray to make it a little darker green, burnt sienna and burnt umber. All right, let's start painting. I am using a paper, a watercolor block, which is watercolor paper that's glued on all four sides. So I'm not using a tape, but if you're using a regular watercolor paper like this, then glue it on all four sides if you want. All right. So let's get started. What I'll do first is divide the paper. Uh, we are actually painting in portrait mode. Divide the paper, two thirds sky and one third the land. And like I said, we will draw the tree to the side i'm just drawing the outline i will paint it later using the same principle that we used previously okay there'll be one here a few branches here some here and some here and this one will be light blue sky using ultramarine blue i'm going to wet the paper first just the sky portion not the land portion I'm going to take a slightly larger brush and then I'm going to take ultramarine blue. This is going to be a gradated wash, which means it's going to be darker on the top. And as you approach horizon, it's going to be light. But I don't want the sky to be very, very dark. I would just want a very pleasant light blue sky. If you have cerulean blue or something lighter, you can go ahead and use that instead of ultramarine blue. Now let's dry this paper. I will come back in a Alright, now the sky is completely dry. So I will paint the, the ground or the meadow. For that, I'm going to wet the bottom portion.
Make sure there are no puddles of water. Now, towards the horizon, I'll paint lemon yellow. Wash my brush and then I'll paint sap green. As we move farther away from the horizon, I'm going to add slightly darker shade of sap green. While the paper is wet, let's add a shadow of the tree using some Payne's Gray and some Burnt Sienna. Just going to add the shadow. Again, I'm assuming the light is falling or the sun is falling from the right side, so it's casting a shadow on the left. Adding slightly less or thicker paint uh, of sap green. You can add the dark green, which is a mixture of sap green and paint gray just to add some variation. If you want, you want to draw some grass, you can do this with a thicker version of Paints Gray and Sap Green mixture. While the paint is still wet, if you want to scratch it with a piece of credit card, you can do that just to add grass. Be careful, don't tear the paper. Just vary the size and the direction. Okay. Now, let's dry the paper and come back to paint the tree. Right. All right, now the bottom is completely dry. So let's start painting the tree. So for that, you can paint the leaves first or you can paint the trunk and branches. I'll start painting the leaves using the belly of the brush. So I'm going to start with the lightest 
green which is the yellow green or the sap green mixed with lemon yellow so that's what I'm going to do first using the belly of the brush I'm just filling a few branches here leave some white space Again, we're assuming the sun is coming from the right. If you leave some white space, you can draw the branches later. Okay, this is the basic structure of the branches we'll paint. Next, wash your brush. Take a little bit of sap cream. Again, don't make it too watered down. And this is the mid, mid value or middle tone. So I'm just going to add. Don't cover up the all, all of the light green. We need all the three greens to appear in the painting. Next, use the sap green and paints gray dark mixture add it to this to the left side and to the bottom of the leaves because there are shadows at the bottom We'll leave it at that first. Let's paint the trunk and the branches. And if we need to add more leaves, we'll come back to it. All right, now let's paint the branches and the trunk. So for that, I'm going to use some burnt sienna. Slightly thicker consistency.
Now I'm going to take some burnt sienna, uh, sorry, burnt umber, and add some darker shadows. Can add some some of the branches in between where we left the white spaces. Let's add some more texture and some shadows. All right, let's make the tree the bottom of the tree better so I'm just going to wet this portion just a little so I can make the shadow a little darker just gonna extend it until the bottom so it does not look haphazard Let's blend the top so it's not a hard line. Okay. Add a little more burnt umber. If you want to add a few more leaves, you can go ahead and do that. Just going to add some leaves here with sap cream. A very thick consistency of sap cream.
all right that's it so this is how you incorporate the elements that you've learned previously into landscapes bye